course you do. <laughs> What's not to love? Love your hair! <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Whatever, go. What do you want? Hi. What do you want? Um, Is that the answer to what you want? Hi. <laughs> what do you want? Um, I was wondering if you could say. No, I'm wondering. That's what I'm doing. You're not wondering. You... What'd you bring me? Thanks. You're welcome. Shall I go on? Could you say hello, boys? No. <laughs> Thanks for asking that. Next question. What was the question that we could all hear? Uh, speak into the bloody microphone, woman. We'd like to know what you're saying so that I can make torturous fun of you. Yeah. You had it. You had Don't panic or anything, but I'm moving towards you rapidly. As fast as I possibly can. What was your question? Osric is telling me no. Now, I mean, you can ask... Osric is just one of those voices in your head. Osric is telling me no, right? I won't... What was the question again? Next question. Better be good and bored. Um, I was wondering if you missed the relationship that your No. <laughs> Do you enjoy playing your character archetype? No. Next one. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> uh. Hey, let's answer, let's answer a question. All right, a question or two. Uh, Where's Rich? Oh. Here's the thing. I thought I heard a voice, but it was, no, it was so your, feminine your mic. And, and soft. It couldn't possibly be a real sorry, person. Sorry, lady. Oh, you brought oh. us lunch. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you so much. You know, I let's give it up for the help. I mean, I'm being so hard on you. I know. I know it's because he loves me. This is not about that. Hey, this not to be so British. He's so British. Him and his tea. All he does is drink tea. <laughs> uh, okay, anyways, questions. Hi. Hi. Sorry, no, you just said that you don't watch a show very often, or you didn't I know, I'm horrible. So I've funny. got it all on DVD, and someday I'll watch them all. Okay, okay. But, um, so hopefully you can answer this question, but it was... <laughs> I'll lie. <laughs> um, if Negan were to somehow enter the supernatural world, oh, who do you think he would kill first? <laughs> Mark Shepard, just out of principle. switch roles with someone else on the show, who would you switch with and why would you want to play like that person? I have two answers. Okay. My first answer is I would like to play Crowley only because I can do a better job. Somewhere, somewhere in the building, you see you escape and you just went like this. He's, he's at the face down in the massage chair, and he's like... <laughs> no, kidding. Um, my, my, my other answer and is... And Norton's like... Right. <laughs> 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 um, so, what was the question? I, I have no idea what we're talking about. Has there been somebody in your life that you're taking so much that you wanted to turn them, you wish you could turn them into something? Oh, Mark. That makes that sense. You, did, what would you yeah, so you didn't have to say the person's name, but I said Mark Shepard. <laughs> I love him. You know. Um, right. <laughs> it's really hard to get Mark out of your head now. Uh, okay, someone that's not Mark. <laughs> Anyone? I don't know. <laughs> I know. Everyone's really nice, <laughs> except for. <laughs> Someone that irritated you so much that you just wanted to turn into an animal. I don't know if that's the first thought that would come across my head. I'm like, 
man, this person's really annoying. I wish they were in an animal. Huh. Wow, that's really nice of you that you would just turn someone into an animal. Oh my god. Can you imagine if Mark was just a tree? <laughs> then he would just stand there and he wouldn't be able to say all the things he wanted to say. It'd be nice. <laughs> be a nice tree. Yeah, let's make him an oak tree. Strong, majestic. I'll take my dogs by it. <laughs> hey Mark. Hi guys. Hello, I, I like down here. It's got your name, Jared Padalecki, and his Actor. mental age, which is going backwards. <laughs> and it's on. It's on the monitor oh, that's, that only we can see. So is that just intended for us to remember who yeah, we I'm are? Yes. Yeah. Jared <laughs> Paul, <laughs> and you're an actor. And I'm an oh, actor. Lest, lest you forget. Right. I can't wait to see what it says for Mark. <laughs> Quick, somebody back there be typing something funny right now. <laughs> it better be like, talks a lot. Talks too much. <laughs> Mark has been getting roasted today. It's been, oh, man. It's uh, been refreshing. It's usually you. you you're really happy about this. Yeah. Nice Misha's like grinning from here because it used to be him on the, on the spike. And now it's, <laughs> it's, it's my turn today. No, that's totally incorrect. What did it say? It, it missed. It mispronounced. It misspelled un, under. It misspelled Vast, over. Vastly underrated actor. <laughs> they misspelled over. <laughs> yes. I want to see that again. That has to stay up there for the rest of the day. Uh, uh, I'll take a picture. Yeah. They called me an actor. <laughs> <laughs> they called you a vast actor. <laughs> and who who's aided? If you're under-aided, who's aided? <laughs> okay, so you guys are all amazing, but this is towards Osric. What was your favorite moment with working with Mark Shepard? <laughs> I love Mark. <laughs> you guys have stories? Have you guys worked with Mark? Yeah, you have. I have never worked with Mark. No, you haven't had the blessing. No, never. <laughs> um, Anyone know what was I? <laughs> Okay, Mark. Yes, I was. I did work with him, yeah. Do you have a good Mark story? <sighs> Let me think. Go ahead. Okay, I'll tell you my favorite Mark story. Um, okay, so <laughs> this is why I love Mark so much. Mark is, as you probably know, he's very, oh, uh, he's Mark Shepard. Um, <laughs> but when I first met him, I did not know that. And so I, I introduced myself um, on, on the first day that I worked with him. And it was only a one day thing, and then it was like the end of the season, he, kind of, he kidnapped me. And I'm like, hey, uh, my name is Oscar, what's your name? And he's standing right here, and he just looks at me, and he goes, and he points at his chair, Mark Shepard. <laughs> and so I'm like, oh, oh, Mark, Mark, very nice to meet you, Mark. Uh, and uh, <laughs> that was about the interaction that we had that day. Um, and then, like four months later, um, I went to San Diego Comic Con for the first time. And it was an incredible experience. I kept, uh, season seven, Kevin had like really long hair. I did a, um, a web series for Halo, and they shaved it off. So it, you know, it's completely different look. Supernatural, like my episodes just started airing, and so I was just I was new. I didn't really know the fandom or anything, and I was just wandering around. Um, and you know how San Diego Comic Con, it, there's, I mean, thousands upon thousands of people just condensed in a pack, and I was going through this railroad there, um, and. In the entire weekend, four people recognized me. While I was walking through this railroad, I get this hand on my shoulder, and I turn around, and it's it's Mark, and he's like, Osric, this just proves you don't all look alike. <laughs> it's a crowd of thousands upon thousands of people, and I look completely different, and only to this man for one day, and he says that to me, and he's with, he's with Jim Beaver and Misha, and he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I was gonna find some, like, food, and he's like, well, just come, and, and then he just took me on a San Diego Comic-Con adventure for the rest of the day, and it was so weird, but that's, that kind of, like, shows the relationship I have with Mark, you know, sometimes he's pointing at a chair, sometimes he's picking me out of a crowd of 
thousands of people. I never know where I stand with them. But I, that's the thing about Mark, you just don't know. But I, yeah, that's I love right. it. I love it. That's right. Do you have a, an encounter that you want to share? I, I have a different relationship with Mark uh, from on set because um, Mark was on Battlestar Galactica. Does anyone know that show? And my husband's a sound mixer in the industry, so he did Battlestar. So Mark had a relationship with my husband for a long time, and so they've got a, a real closeness because that show was, I mean, similar to Battles or similar to Supernatural, a really strong family and that. So, um, yeah, I he he didn't point at any chairs for me. He gave me a nice big warm hug. So that was nice. Yeah. Wait, he does that? <laughs> Yes, he is capable. Yes, he is. Yep. Yep. Let me tell you a little bit about Mark Shepard. He's a cool guy. I hate to say this because he thinks I have a crush on him. <laughs> he, used to date, he used to date a friend of mine, Penny. And I also did a movie with his dad years and years ago called Gettysburg. And when I moved, I was living in New York at the time, and when I moved to Los Angeles, I needed a ride to my mom's house in San Diego. That's a 120 mile drive. I called Penny to see if she'd drive. He said, no, but I'll send my boyfriend. <laughs> Mark Shepard showed up at the airport. I didn't, I didn't know Mark at this time, but he still came and he picked me up at the airport. And he drove me 120 miles down to my mom's house in San Diego, dropped me out, waved me by. And I tell you what, that says a lot about the guy, doesn't it? I mean, would you drive 120 miles, you know, to drive somebody you didn't know to their mom's house in San Diego? He's kind of, he's kind of a giver, so when I saw that he was on the show, I was pretty excited. Hey. Hi. Uh, my question is for Ruth, and I actually almost stole my toll entries for you so you can hand them out today. Um, but I was wanted to get your feelings or thoughts on playing someone who's the mom to someone who's actually older than you. Well, I mean, if you think about it in levels of maturity, he's not. I mean, no, I, age doesn't even come into it. Mark is so perfect as Crowley, he's so good at it. It's a, you know, it's a no-brainer. And, um, you know, it's... Are, are you just, are you having, you having, oh, oh, that's well enough. Watch yourself, don't hurt yourself. I tried. <laughs> um, and, yeah, the, the age thing just is not even a, it's not even a problem. Because I mean, sometimes some mornings when I get up, I'm first in the works. They call it the makeup and hair trailer, and they call it the works. Like you go in like a factory, and you come out completely different. And uh, some mornings my call is 5:20, so I feel 370 years old. It's really not a question. Uh, and I think Rowena's in a lot of denial about a lot of things, and she certainly is young at heart. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, it's it's so it's so fun, and we don't we just think that it's just the dynamics between the two of us um, that that I think about not not the not the age, but I because I am older, I do always know better. I mean that's a fact. I know better, so that's what's important. I think. <laughs> you want to get my short break for your question? Are you okay over there, darling? Sam? No, that you know the thought that. That never even occurred to me. It just fits so well. Well, you thought I was older than Mark. Well, no. But I never even questioned that. No, obviously Mark's the oldest of all of us. Don't tell me. Obviously. He's such a wee beard at heart, though. But I know, it just makes sense, you're right. Yeah, it just makes sense. He's so... When Mark shouts at you, I mean, like, and, you know, uh, as Crowley, oh, it's like... He's so good at Crowley. really good. It's so much fun. So good at crowning. Man. Um, hi. Um, if you could bring back your Doctor Who character, how would you have that happen? Uh, okay, so Rob is going to answer that question for you as me. Okay. No, 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 no. It's a valid question. It's a valid question. No, no, no. Let it finish. So, Doctor Who. Have you ever seen an episode of Doctor Are you nervous? Just Are you nervous? Good. Maybe I'll get lucky. Good. She's nervous, everyone. She's nervous because I'm in her presence. So I'm going to answer your Doctor Who question, very simply. Now. That's my Mark Shepard. Mark Shepard, ladies and gentlemen.
Love you guys. See you later. Have a great day.